frame structure is completely configurable from the sketches defining the structure to the frame profiles and other frame parameters. This makes it easy to create frames in different sizes or using different profiles. Let's take a look at how to configure frame structures. Start by creating configuration tables. You can create a list, checkbox, or variable table, or even a combination of all three as needed for the design. Learn more about creating configuration tables in the configuration courses. Once tables and configuration permutations are defined, you can configure the parameters within a frame feature or driving features like sketches to configure the structure. Edit the sketch, right-click on the dimension to configure, choose Configure Dimension and select the table name to add the parameter. Then change the values as needed. You can also configure aspects like the suppression state of sketches or features by selecting the option Configure Suppression in the right-click menu on a feature. To configure a parameter defining the frame feature itself, edit the frame feature, right-click on the parameter and choose Configure with the table name. Notice, you can configure any of the options including the profile, selections, angle, direction, corner type and limit frame ends selections. Once the parameter is in the configuration table, edit the cell in the table to the desired change. After the configuration tables are defined, any user with access to the document can change the active configuration by using the configuration selector above the feature list in a part studio. The cut list in the part studio displays the table for the active configuration. The next video explores how to create the cut list in a part studio. Configured frame structures can be used in an assembly or drawing by generating the needed configuration in the insert dialog. We will learn more about how to add frames to an assembly or drawing in a future video. Notice, in a drawing, the cut list table references that view of the structure, so if the configuration in the view is changed, the cut list updates to match the change. We will learn more about adding cut list tables in drawings in a future video. This video shows that just like any other feature, frame structures can be configured to quickly and easily design a whole family of similar structures.